Hi guys, this is Rakesh here and I'm from IT University, Open on University for Student Professionals. Guys, we are doing lots of stuff in the field of uh, IT and uh, there are many playlists which you can find it out on high on on mostly on big data and uh, unix administration part and many more so there are many i think you need to explore it i cannot explain the whole set of playlists in this talk where i am working is i'm working on apache streaming so this is apache spark streaming what this is and how this has been involved you need to view at least these few videos then you will have some idea how the streaming works so guys the last time where i left you is that the input restream and the receivers i told you there are two types of receivers one was reliable and another one was uh, unreliable guys uh, there has always been uh, a question that how to maintain a state of a uh, of an rdd or often how how do i maintain a state in streaming suppose i'm getting some values and uh, <clears throat> getting particular values on uh so i'll give you an example that uh, uh, i want to store the state in which i'll be able to see what was the maximum uh, uh you know count not count but suppose i have a share of infosys or tcs so i want to see that when was the last time that the share went max or the streaming count or the streaming or if i'm i'm receiving them so how do i evaluate suppose in past uh infosys share reaches a x point and i want to check whether it has reached the same point today or not so i have to maintain the state right i have to look uh, uh in this in my sequence or in my uh, streaming that if i'm receiving the state or not and where the state has been evolved so statefulness is really really important for any streaming application i want to see how my application is actually running or suppose i want to have a count in the stream or suppose i want to suppose someone is sending me a stream in which i want to count the integers or something else or i want to compare some certain things so i need to have the past of that particular stream so how to maintain that stream so guys you remember that last time when we were uh, discussing uh, i think we had discussed uh, things till here give me a moment yeah so we discussed it till uh, reliable resources and uh, receiver sorry and uh, yeah right basic uh, receivers and uh, advanced receivers we can have a customer receiver as well so you know we have transformations on dstream actually works like the same as that of uh, rdds only so these are actually stateless transformations all of these map rad map so you are you will not find so you know very common to the simple rdds which we were which we had already discussed in our in simple rdds like key pair rdd or simple rdd you have must have seen flat map and other stuff so how to maintain the state so guys there are two transformation which i would like to discuss here one is or not the transformations what i would say is yeah transformations only one would i say is that update state by key and another one is transform i'll discuss transform in another video and this particular video i'll discuss about how to maintain the state so there is a transformation called as update state by key which actually returns a new state of the dstream where the state of the each key is updated by applying the given functions onto the previous suppose i want to have a function that okay i want to calculate a uh, word count and i that is what i'll be uh, displaying it to you as well suppose i want to see that how my so what is the current uh, word count for a particular word you know that type of things so that type of things can be uh, uh, brought up through update state by key when i'll uh, explain you through the code you will be it will be much more explained in detail so you need to maintain a state you need to define a state so state is nothing but uh, how do you define a state in this you actually use this update function uh, through which um, so the function actually would be would be passed to update state by key over here in which the state would be uh, so for a particular key what would the state a state would could be any integer or any number or any any sort of that thing and uh, if you can see so what do we have to use is we have to use this update function over here which will have the new values whatever the new values are 
and the running count what was the previous count we had used the data uh, structure as options kindly look into it in much, much detail why we'd have, we would have used it and then we actually returns a particular state and this is it i think uh, this actually evolves around everything uh, you need to in read this in every batch spark will apply the state function for all existing keys regardless of whether they have new data in the batch or not so every time whenever the stream will run it will calculate for the each and every key whether any particular state has or any particular value has come or not in another means suppose i have a word called hi and i receive a hi on a socket stream right and in the and whenever the next team you know occurs we actually give the batch cycle of 10 seconds so i have to see whether i have received any word hi or not if yes then i'll update the state that okay i had received previously now again i have received else it will be one right so that is it about it now i've written a code for the same so you can see that this is my what i'll do is uh i'll say word count so remember my previous uh what was that um, network word count network spark stream yeah so you had seen that right how i calculated the reduce by key and then i was printing right remember that so in this stateful word count what i have done is that uh, i had used the word count over here and then i had applied um, the update state by key transformation on this why i had done this here because i need to see uh, i need to calculate on the word count which actually is a pair you know so it would actually give me the values and then it will call update function which has been defined here so you can have any other name for this but over here uh, so it has a sequence value which actually suppose in the current in the current uh, uh, in the um, in the current stream i am receiving the values so it will sequence it out all sum it all right and then for every key it will see what was the running count what was the previous count for the same if there will be any previous count it will return it else it will return zero so zero will will actually define it the same and then we returning some new count right so these are the actually scala things scala some represent the existing values of a particular of a type a so it will return that that's it and there's another thing guys which i would like to discuss here is you had seen we need to perform we need to put um, what is the ip and the port and here my streaming actually has been revolved so there's another thing which you need to give here is that you need to do a checkpointing whenever you are doing a stateful transformation check but yeah so i need to give the directory you can ask me why do we need this hmm? uh, guys remember that all remember it that uh, suppose that uh, i'm running a state right i'm running a particular i'm running a streaming application and my streaming application crashes so how will i be able to receive what the state was in the previous check right so if the driver fails the receiver will actually keep on receiving it but how will i maintain so there's a checkpoint directory in which i will keep on writing the logs through which i'll be able to receive the state so it actually makes our uh, whole application a uh, state uh, fault tolerant so what i'll do is i'll run this and uh, we'll demonstrate you have each and every step in detail again so it will take a minute i'll be back bye bye so yeah i'm back now you can see it uh, i what i did is that uh, i ran this itversity iftversity hope the spellings are correct and it has given me uh, high has been given twice and itversity has been given twice so now if i'll say uh, it for ct is the best versity so let's see what we would get so you can see the it versity count here is 3 instead of 1 in the previous example you had seen that the uh, it versity count was coming as what 
IT university previous count was coming as you know one for that for the particular tram for the particular iteration but here I've, i'm maintaining the state so if i'll say i i i i so i'll expect how many highs now six at least right so every time i have to see whether so you can see that i have received six highs now so this is very simple and uh, you would be amazed to see so now uh, now i hope you got this how it has worked so this particular function had worked in a way that suppose uh in this point when i had given four highs right uh, i don't know whether it's good english or not but all the values will be coming into the hair and the sequence comes sum will be four for that particular high value and then the running count actually would give what it would give the previous value for the high which was two so four plus two comes out to be six so it would return the new value as six over here if else a instead of else what whatever it is so that's that's the whole point of discussing over here that how it had worked and uh, how it would actually had worked so i think that's it you know uh, that's it about uh, how to do a streaming um, in a stateful maintain uh, in a stateful fashion. Uh, let me see whether I have created any new directory or not. I I wasn't having any new directory, so so you can see a new directory has been created and all the checkpoints have, are coming over here. Right, guys. Uh, this is CRC file. Yeah, Receive the block and other stuff. So this is very uh, you know i can explain the things in detail also but i don't think so that would be required here my own mo main motive is to get you familiar with the things and to show you that they are not that difficult to work for last time what happened is that uh, now i'm shooting this video after a week and last time the streaming was <laughs> running for at least a week so i'll stop it out over here so that's it about uh, update uh, state by key and uh, it has been used so whenever we are having its uh, again recap again state uh, update state by key actually evaluates states on the key and we have a checkpoint enabled so that uh, anytime uh, whenever we have a new state uh, the checkpoint if any uh, fault happens the checkpointing will actually work in a way that the previous state will be restored right so i think that's it about this video in the next video i'll explain you another uh, uh, transformation called as transform only and i'm left with another thing called as windowed operation you know uh, i had shown it in one of my video in um, uh, there's a code for twitter right popular tags but i would like to create another one for you guys right i hope that won't be any big issue i think that's it guys that's it from my side as of now and uh, keep watching our channel subscribe to it like it dislike it whatever it is but keep commenting to our post it actually gives us boost to do new things you know thank you guys thank you very much have a nice day bye